In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Thunderlister settings. Once you're logged into Hydralister, scroll down in, on the left hand side in the navigation area under settings and click on Thunderlister settings. Select the platform that you are listing on, US settings for United States and UK settings for United Kingdom. The first thing you need to do is come in to step number one and click connect. If you are already connected, it will show your eBay keys here. If not, you're going to click get eBay keys. It will tell you that you're being redirected. Click OK. There will be another link that says, please click here to be redirected to eBay for authentication. Click the link. It will open another tab. Here you'll log into your eBay account. And click sign in. Once you're on the screen, you'll basically be granting application access to Hydralister. All you do here is click agree. And it will tell you that authorization has been successfully completed and that it's now safe for you to close this tab. So just close the tab. You'll return to your Hydralister settings. Scroll back down and go back to Thunderlister settings, US or UK. The next thing you need to do, you can click connect and you'll see that your eBay keys are here. The next step would be to click connect if you are a SKU grid user. You'll want to get your SKU grid remote key and paste that key here. So you click the link that says get keys here. It will take you to SKU grid. If you're already logged in, you'll automatically be on the right screen. If you're not on this screen, all you do is click the link. It will take you to SKU grid. You'll log in to SKU grid and click settings, then click remote API and you'll be right here. If you already have a remote key generated, just copy the key and paste it into the Thunderlister settings. If you do not have a key in this box, click generate new. Copy the key that results from that. Save the settings. It's very important to save the settings because if this remote key is not identical to the one that you put in your Thunderlister settings then your items will not export over to SKU Grid. All right, so after you've pasted in your remote key and save the SKU Grid settings, go over to step two, which is setting your default break even percentage. Your default break even percentage is the markup that you would need to cover your eBay fees, PayPal fees, and any vendor tax if you normally figure that into your numbers. So most people, have about 9 to 10% for eBay fees, and most people have about 3% for PayPal fees. So that would be 13% right there. And if you're doing vendor tax, uh, if you want to account for the possibility that you have to pay vendor tax when you order an item, then the tax rates usually vary from 5 to 9%. So any number in between uh, will help provide some extra cushion for that. If not, uh, a lot of people like to choose nine and some do 10 just to be safe. So just for simple math, we'll do 10. So if your eBay and PayPal fees are 13%, another 10% for vendor tax, that would make your default break even 23. It's optional to do the vendor tax and it's, you know, whatever numbers you use, they're totally up to you. So for the sake of this demonstration, we'll do 23%. And your desired profit percentage, that's going to be the amount of profit percentage you want to take back home to keep plus your default break even. So if your default break even is 23%, then, and let's say you want to bring home 5%, then this number here would be 28. It's a 23% for the break even plus five. Um, and again, you use whatever numbers are comfortable for you and your business. 
Then we move to step number three, general settings. Here you select the listing duration for your listings by default. You can do 30 day listings or good till canceled. And here you also select whether or not you participate in the global shipping program. If you're already opted into global shipping and you want to include global shipping on your items as a default, then select yes. If not, change this to no. Moving on to step number four, business policies. You're going to click get update profiles that will pull in your current eBay business policies, which tell HydroLister and eBay how you want to list the item, what payment profiles you have, return policies, and shipping, shipping policies. So select one of your policies by default. And then we move to step number five. This is where you configure your template. So the first thing here is disable preformatting. Select yes if you're going to want to change things around in your template, like make certain things bold, underline, different header, fonts, etc. Select yes because yes disables the CSS styling that HydroLister uses um, when pulling in the items. If you're not worried about that, then select no. All right, and here, this is the drop down where you choose a template. Right now, I'm just going to copy my current template code. All right. So from this drop down, you select a template. As you can see, HydroLister offers some predefined templates for you to use. They're already just plug and play ready. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but you are free to edit anything within your template. You can just click in the in the box and type whatever language you want to type. OK, so you choose a template that works for you and your business model. Or if you have your own template that you would like to use, you can just hit source. Clear out the code that's there and paste in your own HTML code and then hit source again. OK, and this would be pasting in your own HTML code. You'll want to make sure that you put these tags. These are these Hydra merge tags. OK, there's one for title, product description, feature bullets, and there's a code here for an image. You'll need to insert these tags within your HTML code where you want these pieces of information to appear. This is how HydraLister knows where to insert the title, the product description, the feature bullets, etc. And you'll also note that on all of the templates that HydraLister provides, these tags are already placed, but you can move them around if you want to. After you're done fixing up your template, just come down and click Save. It will tell you that your ThunderLister settings have been saved successfully, and you can close this pop-up. Now you're ready to list your first item.